morning guys it is 4 56 a.m i am making my coffee right now um and then i'm going to head to the airport my flight is at 6 50 something but oh, my machine's out of water um but i am like really crazy about getting there like pretty early i hope this is good because it was out of water we'll see i don't really have a choice um so i'm just making my coffee i'm about to head out um this is my outfit it's kind of cute it's a little jumpsuit and the back is like open a little bit anyways just the airplane but i still think uh it's cute and like I don't know what I'm doing when I get there. Sorry, I'm really close up angle. I don't know what I'm doing when I get there, so I just want to make sure that like I look somewhat presentable just in case like I see somebody that like like a employee that I've been chatting with, like a Weight Watchers employee. So for those who don't know, I'm actually on my way to New York City. Um I've never been before, so that's exciting. Um I am speaking at a Weight Watcher Global Town Hall event where basically it's just like a bunch of corporate employees that get together um, for like this conference and I get to be one of the speakers so I get to like tell my story to all these employees and Mindy Grossman's going to be there who is the CEO of Weight Watchers so I get to meet her and I get to meet all the amazing people I've been chatting with through email so I'm pretty excited. Um, all right, so I have anxiety about being late for my flight. Like every time we fly, it's really annoying. I have plenty of time, but I just have to find parking and everything. So this is my little bag. I have my pop chips in there. I have some smart sweets. I have built bars, of course. So I got my healthy snacks. I'm gonna try to stay on track as much as possible. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. It's the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure because now I never want to go back like it was so comfortable but my knee was hurting really bad so it was kind of a good thing to get all that extra room so I'm about to head to the hotel and I will vlog it to do a little room tour when I get there all right guys I finally got my room let's go in oh it's perfect oh, I'm so excited to lay down oh my gosh it's just a regular king room. There's a Keurig. Decent view of the street. I'm about to lay down. I was thinking about going to Times Square. That's annoying, whatever that is. <laughs> um, I was thinking about going to Times Square. Um, just like check it out, but I'm so exhausted. It's 3 o'clock now, so I'm not sure if I should. I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated if I'm going to or not. Do you hear that? Okay. Anyways, I'm going to lay down for a bit and relax, and then we'll see if I feel up to going. I once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide 
to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders and closed off That's what I told you soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Not living in the past, we're over that Good morning guys, it is 7.40 a.m. I am all ready to go. I'm going to WW headquarters to go tell my story. I'm very nervous. I'm getting more nervous now, like nauseous -y. But I'm gonna be fine. <clears throat> I'm gonna run to Starbucks first to get my coffee because like I said, I'm nauseous and I need to eat something. Um, eat something, my protein coffee before I go. So uh, I'm about to head over to Starbucks because I don't know how long it's gonna take. And I don't want to be late and because everything's busy here. So this is the outfit I'm wearing. It's this black jumpsuit. So this is what the top looks like. It has like a tie right here. And then there's not a lot of light in this room. But yeah, it's just like a jumpsuit. So cute. And then I'm wearing these shoes. They're just like fancy little sandals and things. So... I am about to, oh, this lighting over here is good. Um, this is what it looks like outside right now. It's a little gloomy, but I see the sun peeking through. So I'm about to head over to Starbucks and then go. And they said that they are going to cut out my portion of the talk to be able to like share with you guys. So you guys will be able to see like my portion of the speech and stuff. So anyways. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Oh, that, I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, get yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Hello everybody, my name is Felicia Keithley I am a 23-year-old stay-at-home mom and wife um, I actually joined the program in May 2017, so it'll be two years next week, which is so crazy. Um, I wasn't always overweight my whole life. Um, it wasn't until my freshman year of high school um, that summer I was sexually assaulted, and um, I didn't tell anybody about it, and I used food to cope, and I was pushing down all my emotions and fears and shame with food. Um, and I started binge eating and, um, sorry, I ended up going to therapy, um, and, you know, by that time I had already gained over 100 pounds, and she kind of put it into perspective for me, you know, this is what you're doing. I didn't really realize, um, you know, you're using food to cope with what you've been through. So, um, when I graduated high school, I married my middle school sweetheart, and we moved out to California. He joined the Marine Corps. Um, and not too long after that, I got pregnant with my son. Um, so I, you know, I saw a picture of myself, um, and I thought I have to do something, um, you know, not only for me and my health, but for my son and to live a healthy life for him. So I told my mom I wanted to get weight loss surgery. And, you know, I felt like I had tried everything. I tried all the fad diets. I had tried just eating healthy in general um, with no real guidance. And I always just quit. I always would give up after like a week or two. I'd burn myself out, um, you know, thinking that there's only, you know, there's good food and there's bad food. And I would just be so deprived and miserable. So I would, you know, give up. Um, so I told my mom, you know, I want weight loss surgery. And in order for my insurance to approve me for the weight loss surgery, I had to have proof of a failed weight loss program. So my mom had done WW before, and she said, why don't you just try it, you know? And if it doesn't work out, then you can move along with the surgery. And so I was like, okay, sure, whatever. 
I, we'll see. So I took my son into my first meeting uh, workshop um, where I met my leader, Bev, Beverly in Oceanside. And I weighed in at 302.2 pounds. Of course, I was ashamed and pretty upset. Um, but I sat in through my first workshop and I left feeling so motivated and so excited. I went straight to the grocery store, had my barcode scanner. I was probably in there for three hours, scanning everything. Um, and I went home and I started right away. I started going to the gym, um, lifting weights and walking with, you know, doing what I could at over 300 pounds, um, tracking all my food and I was eating good food. I was like, wow, this is nice, I can eat good food without feeling deprived. And my first week I lost almost nine pounds. So that was like my first real glimmer of hope, I, I would say, I was like, okay, you know, maybe I can do this. So I continued tracking, continued to lift weights, work out. And this last December, I hit goal and lifetime. And as of today, I've lost 145 pounds. Thank you. So, you know, everyone says it has to be a lifestyle change, lifestyle change, lifestyle change. You're, you're told that all the time. And this was the first time I had done something that gave me all the tools possible to make it a lifestyle change at my fingertips, literally. Um, you know, you have the recipes, you have the exercise. It inspired me to try new things. You know, I had started lifting weights, which I never thought I would have a passion for any type of exercise, um, let alone lifting weights. And um, you know, you have a full support system with Connect. You have everything that you need. And that was what really changed my full mindset and really helped me. And you know, it is all mindset. And this program focuses on that. You have meditation, you have everything. Um, and you know, they focus on your why, which for me was my son. And now I can live a healthy, long life for my baby, who will be three on Sunday. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has something to do with this program because you guys are really changing lives and you have saved mine. So I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am on my way to my meetup right now. It's going to be at a Weight Watchers studio. I can't wait to meet you guys. I'm wearing this black dress, some white shoes. And yeah, it's gonna take me about 10 minutes to get there, so here we go.
is an online only WW member. And she came up and asked me, she's like, okay, we can see on Connect that people who are online are getting charms. And like, basically, when is my charm showing? That would be the question. And I told her, I said, listen, we're working with 3.3 million online members and slowly kind of get to charm out to them and mail it into their own. Well, that's a good idea. Why don't you show me how much weight you've lost today? Yeah. As of now. So yeah. she gets a five pound charm. Oh, we got a picture. Here you go. She gets a 10 pound charm. And let me take a picture of you with it. Oh, I got a big okay. here. Oh, this is fun. And this is so 25 because she's already lost 30 pounds. <laughs> Friday. It is my last day here in New York. Um, <clears throat> I didn't vlog a ton yesterday just because like I wasn't sure who at the meetup wanted to be filmed. So at the end I put my camera up. So I hope you guys like whatever I ended up doing with that footage. Um, the meetup was seriously, I can't even explain. Like it was so fun. It was so cool to like put their faces to like their profile pictures, you know, like Oh my gosh, it was just so fun. Like I can't even, it makes me want to do so many more meetups um, because hearing everyone's stories and like, they just had amazing stories and, and like lost 30 pounds here. Like it was just crazy. Um, and of course everyone was so sweet. I have the greatest group of people on social media ever, I swear. Um, the most adorable, sweetest people. They got, West, someone got Weston a present, someone got me lashes and, a, and bronzer, like, just so sweet and thoughtful and we did kind of like a q a and then we just like took pictures and stuff so it was so fun um and the studio on is it 23rd street oh my gosh the ww studio in new york <laughs> on 23rd i think it's on 23rd if i can remember correctly is so nice like i walked in and was like i'm sorry what is this there's like like comfy chairs and like couches and it's like gorgeous in there so yeah that was pretty cool to see that 
Um, the town hall went super, super well. I was really nervous, but um, it went really well, thankfully. And hopefully by the time this video goes up, I'll have the clip of my speech so I can end, um, put it in here in the video. Um, so now I'm going to do, I don't know if I'm allowed to say it. So basically I'm going back to the headquarters to do something else. Um, and then right after that, I'm headed to the airport. So I'm just getting all packed up right now and I'm gonna go check out. I'm gonna go get Starbucks again. And so I have my vanilla premier protein and um, I, I had a lot of people on my Instagram asking why I do three shots of espresso instead of two. Um, with the vanilla, if I do two shots, it's way too sweet, like way too sweet. So I have to do three shots and even then it's still sweet. Like I just, I'm a caramel girl. I like the caramel premiere, but they didn't have it. So I had to work with what I got. Um, yeah, it's a gorgeous day out right now, thankfully. So hopefully all my traveling goes well. I just want to get home to my baby. I'm not going to get home till like 9 p.m. I'm gonna go pick him up at uh, my dad and stepmom's house and snuggle him. And I'll probably, that'll probably be the next time I talk to you guys. Um, I hope this vlog turns out good. I just like don't want to vlog too much like out and about because I don't want to look like a tourist, you know, even though I probably already do. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I will catch up with you later, probably once I get to see my baby. And yeah, wish me safe travels because I hate traveling. I missed you so much. Miss you! Did you have so much fun with Grandpa and Cheryl? Did you go to the zoo? Did you go play at the park? He's zoning out. He just wants his ice cream. I'm on the ice cream. You want me to open it? Hey. I love you so much. I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. No, I love you more. I love you more. No, I love you more. I once felt I'm done with the defense.